All right, here in the code, you can see that we are calling a variable. And so one of the you know, basic, most widely used statements in all scripting or programming languages is the establishing and the declaring of variables. So we declare the variable and we call this variable name. Creates the variable for the future use that's used by the text that is entered by the user. All right, then we say this variable name equals whatever is included in the window.prompt function, uh, the window.prompt object, we should say. So that opens up a prompting dialog box for the user, and then the message that's contained within that prompt is, hello, what is your name? That then reads that text and converts it to a string, and then after the user clicks OK or hits Enter, then that information here that we've declared with our name variable is included in the right line statement below. So it will say hello and then include whatever the user enters as their name. And then on a different line, you know, because of our break tags here, welcome to educator.com. So that'll happen as the user runs it. Let's take a look at that one more time. All right, so if I enter a name in the user prompt, click OK, it returns that value in the completed sentence. So with this, you can see that the web page returns the value that was entered by the user. And in later examples, in our JavaScript lessons, you're going to learn how to program things like this into your web pages. And it's going to provide user interactivity and many more complicated things like mathematical expressions and looping statements. And this is all going to be done in our series on JavaScript. So congratulations, you've reached the end of our first lesson. Thank you for watching.